Well, it is time for a massive, massive game at the bottom of the table. Aki's welcome Cove Rangers to New Douglas Park. And if we win this game, if we can get three points here, potentially, depending on the our broth Dundee result, we could draw level with our broth. Uh, and put a little bit of space between us and Cove who currently sit bottom. So team lines are of course out. It is unchanged from uh, our win midweek against Wraith Rovers, which was a massive win, a big, big three points, um, and where Benny actually see got the winner. So the gate, the team is unchanged. Lewis Spence does come in uh, onto the bench for the first time in I don't know how many months, and obviously we're missing Tihi from the game given his red card against Wraith. So. Listen, as I said, it's a massive game. It's a big, big opportunity. And hopefully we can just get three points. If they can make it a comfortable win, even better. But what's most important today is the three points. So let's hope we can get it. Looks a little on, Bob. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> about 20 minutes in and there's no doubt that Cove have been the better side not been able to retain possession at all really they've had one kind of clear cut chance of the header within the six yard box that somehow they put over but Aki's struggling to retain possession struggling to string any passes together and they've yet to create a chance so there's no doubt Cove have been the, the better team this first the start of this first half still plenty of the game to go last kind of 10 minutes of the first half much the same as the last update Cove have been a little bit more open, so we've caught them in the counter once or twice, but we've not been clinical enough to, to create anything with it, so... Cove are forced into an early change, and it's for the player, Miko Vertanen, that's coming on, but... Again, they've got the most possession. Either side really cutting each other open, bar that Cove chance I mentioned earlier. We see that cutting edge, and I think we can catch them on one of these counter-attacks. And literally just after I said that, Ashley Seal goes through, looks to be fouled as the last man, running through one-on-one, -on -one. the ref doesn't give it. Fox then fumbles the ball, Ashley Seal taps it home and the ref gives it for a foul on the goalkeeper. Unbelievable decision there. And how Aki's haven't, haven't gone 1-0 up there, I don't know. Looked a foul on Ashley Seal initially, and it definitely didn't look like a foul on Fox afterwards, but he's here. Getting Seaman on the park, Aki should be 1-0 up. You can hear the reaction from the fans. An unbelievable decision from the ref. Unbelievably, Aki's haven't made it 1 0 there. As a header back across the box to Dan O'Reilly, Tomlety pretty much on the line and he just can't get his toe on it to clear it and then it's cleared off the line. Aki's should be 1 0 up and very nearly did make it 1 0 up there. Well, it's half time and it remains 0 0. I mean, as I said, Cove have dominated the possession here, they've had most of the ball, but as I just speak to a fan there, and I do agree, as soon as we put any pressure on them, they do look like they're crumbling a little bit, you know, when we catch them in the counter, they do look vulnerable, we just don't have that cutting edge eh, to get that opening goal. And right at the end there, Aki said, have a penalty shout. Looked like perhaps Dylan McGowan was pulled down in the box. Eh, nothing gave, ref blew for half time. There's a little bit of afters with Dylan McGowan, and eh, I believe it was Ross, eh, the, the Cove Rangers player, but still now now here, plenty to play for. I kind of hope we come out, kind of all guns plays in that second half because we definitely can score here. Um, as I said, I know they're getting the majority of the possession, but they're not really doing anything with it. We, when we get the ball and put something together, it looks like we can cause issues. So I hope we come out of that second half ready to go and can get an early goal and push on to there. But it's still now right now. Dundee Arbroath is also still now now. So the table remains as it stands. Remain, so the table remains the way it is as it stands. At this stage, well, I make a prediction, probably not, because you know what Aki's are like. But, uh, aye, let's hope we can get an early goal and push on for there and end up, as I keep saying, ultimately with the most important thing, which is three points. Right at the start of the second half, and Aki's have another penalty claim pushed away. Loose missed through one on one. He tries to get a touch by the keeper. He's cleared out by the defender in the box. The referee doesn't blow for it. Checks with linesman, linesman also doesn't give it. Again, another unbelievable decision. Aki's do go behind. Cove Rangers. We've got a really good chance to send Lucas the ball through one on one. We don't make the pass. We just take the ball to the other end. Langstaff, probably been their most dangerous player, beats Regan Tumulty and just finishes into that bottom corner. Cove Rangers do go 1 0 up. They're just going to sit back now, defend for that 1 0. Aki's need to try and break them down, but this is really, really not going the way that we need it to go. Let's hope we can turn it around. 
And Aki's do get a penalty straight away, man. We go up, we win a corner. It's played short, look as the ball tries to clip it back into the box and it's Shea Logan who gives it against. It's Connor Smith who'll step up. Aki's have a big chance to equalise here, get it back on level terms. We are making two subs for the look of it. Zanata and Stevenson coming on, but they'll wait to see how this goal goes. Big chance. And Connor Smith does get his level. The two subs are happening. Time for Aki to get a winner here. Into the last few minutes, both sides look absolutely exhausted here. Just both sides pushing for a winner. So the game's very open, but both look absolutely exhausted here. I think this is going to end one each, which is really disappointing. I think this is going to end one each, unless it's oh, well, unless one team produces a, a, a little moment of magic there. Some team can create something, but from the way the game's going, I think it is going to end one each. Cove, massive chance to win it. Right at the end there is a corner. Reynolds effort looks like it's going in and then it's deflected off a of Cove Rangers player and over the bar. I mean this is kind of this is kind of classic Aki's, isn't it? I mean we get a really good unexpected win against Wraith away. They come to a game at home against a team around us, one we're fighting relegation with. And we just don't have that cutting edge to get the win. If it stays how it is now, which I think it will, reaching right to the end of the game here, it's, I, this is a massively missed opportunity. Our Broth and Dundee have drawn now, now, so this is a big opportunity to kind of try and close that ground. But the more it stands, I've not taken it, and it'll end. It'll end one each. Full time, back home, time to edit the match reaction and very disappointing. It was a big, big opportunity for us to get three points and yet again, we just couldn't do it. We just seem to have this thing when we play teams around us or games that we expect to win or should win, um, we can't do it. You know, we found that with Clyde in the Cup, um, we made it a lot harder than it probably should have been today. I think, you know, with the way Cove, the, the form they're on, the goals they're conceding, um, you know, we could have taken advantage of that today and we didn't. I uh, thought the substitutions confused me. I don't understand taking Lucas the ball off when we need somebody to cut through the fence. Um, and you've got somebody like Andy Winter sit, sitting on the bench um, who has, you know, we've been told is the best finisher at the club. Um, he didn't come on today. Really, really disappointing. Results kind of went our way as well with Dundee drawing our broth. A point isn't the end of the world. But it could have been a hell of a lot better. So really disappointing today. But now we've got Morton uh, Tuesday midweek. We've got Queen's Park Friday as well. So two midweek games to look forward to. Um, and let's hope we can we can pick up some points there. But thanks again for watching. Appreciate it. We'll see you again soon.